All right, guys, just like the title says, we sold Shoot Dang Ranch. And I'm about to tell you guys how much time we have left, our future plans. We have a lawsuit with the oil company. We're spilling the beans on all of it. The tiny house, guys, is gonna be moved. <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. We're starting out feeding the animals. You can, might be able to hear some big machinery over there. What in the world is going on out here? I think you already kind of know, but there's a lot more that you guys have no idea about just yet. Uh, as you guys saw from the title, we are officially selling Shoot Dang Ranch, and this is gonna be some of the last times we ever feed our animals here. We have a short window to do everything we need to do, plus the craziness that's going up there, plus some craziness that you guys don't know yet. We got a lot going on over here at the uh, shoot dang headquarters. It is crazy to think that this chapter is coming to an end But do you remember what it looked like and how much work we had to put into to get this thing to where it is now? Guys, we got our dream property 60 acres This is what we're coming up on so this is another big thing that sold it you guys are gonna see it first and be like eh, but I'm telling you it's actually really good. Boom, a freaking shop and a water tank. There's so much we can do with this. Oh, tons of potential. Oh, it's just wild, wild, wild. This water tank is something that we are uh, really dreading leaving behind. We don't want to leave this here because it was something that Danielle and I always wanted to turn into a tiny house. We thought it would have been the coolest thing. It was just an old water tank that everybody called a grain silo. So we kept calling it the not a grain silo. We always wanted to uh, build that as a house. So it is a little sad thinking that here at Shoot Dang Ranch, this chapter is coming to an end. <sighs> it's just sad. This whole area over here is pretty wild to think. I mean, this was just uh, brush and tall grass, and then we ended up turning it into a place for our animals to stay. Guys, do you remember us building the Hobbit House? We got a hobbit house. There you go. It's fucking hot up there. The garden was pretty wild too. To get all the stuff from the garden was awesome. And then the creek down here to think. A lot of time was spent on this creek trying to get water, trying to set it up to where we can cool off. Guys, it was so freaking hot for so long. I wanna miss that creek. I think I've said it already a million times. What am I about to say? It's hot level out the bottom so it's not like weird stuff we're going to be laying on. It's going right. to feel so good. Let's put the plastic in. Okay. It's going to pop a hole in that. Uh... I mean, <laughs> it's okay to get a hole in the plastic. The thing we have to do is to test it out. But I'm not going to miss whenever it flooded when C&C was here. That was freaking wild. It doesn't matter if we get a couple inches, it just drains from other places and that's crazy. Oh my goodness. This is normally maybe a, I don't know, a foot wide. Two and a half feet, maybe three feet of water. Oh, where the cornhole is, is completely soaked as well. A major bummer is the shop in here. We weren't able to actually stock this thing full of tools get it all going, get the concrete done up, use the whole thing. Uh, this is probably the biggest bummer because we spent a lot of time in this shop, especially the bird's nest. As of right now, the bird's nest just has a bunch of shoot dang merch that we had. And then it's just got the bed and TV and everything up there being unused. It's starting to get cold. The wood burning stove that we have would be getting used right now because it's starting to get cold. But it's crazy how much different this room looks now and what it looked like before and then what it ended up being. Oh, the freaking memories. We're about to have to start hauling all the animals. I'm really glad that we uh, redid this old horse trailer. Very, very glad. That's gonna come in handy very soon, but it's crazy thinking also over here, 
on this uh, area. This is where Danielle learned to weld. All right, guys, so as you can tell, uh, those people are leaving right there. Um, this is where it gets pretty uh, interesting over here. Look, they're starting to do dirt work. Got a bulldozer and the tiny house. What in the world is going on? Huh? Well, I guess let me fill you in. They pretty much said they're gonna bulldoze the freaking tiny house over. I'm just joking. The neighbor over there is actually doing some stuff. Uh, we have two weeks and we're going to be getting all our stuff taken over to Shoot Dang Ranch. It's gonna be really, really busy for the next two weeks. It's gonna be pretty wild. That's why we've been trying to get the animal thing figured out and stuff. Uh, we knew selling this property, we'd have to get off fairly quick for the new people. And uh, this guy is getting all this dirt work and everything done around the tiny house. It's crazy. The tiny house, guys, is gonna be moved. Yep, that is right. It is going to be moved. I definitely know what you guys are thinking. How in the world is it gonna be moved if it's built right on the ground? Well, uh, actually had a moving company come out and they looked at it and uh, it was actually the guy that was just here got, uh, called the moving company, came out and said, absolutely, we can move that. It's no problem. Looks like it's built just fine. So. The tiny house, guys, it's being moved. But to where? You guys gotta wait to find out. Oh, of all things that's pretty wild out here is the fact that Danielle and I built a freaking house from the ground up that size. That's pretty good size. We had our ups and downs with it, and we did it through the hottest summer that Oklahoma's had in a long time. But boy, was it worth it. Boy, did we learn a lot. Boy, did it help our relationship help us get through things that we never thought we could and absolutely made us stronger to let us know no matter what we're doing, Danielle and I, we're pretty solid. Pretty excited about it and I love it. Need to be done and then it's time for paint. I like the way it looks black. I mean, it's it came out. It's not a cup of tea, but I, I like black on black. And it came out slick. I was just driving out here and I just had to stop and think all the good times we had with all our friends out here. Oh man, it was crazy. Are you scared? <laughs> I didn't know we were that, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cynthia loves finding her hearts. Yes! Alright, we got Corey Let's do this. stepping up to the plate. Yes. For the Here. first time yes. since we bought this, we were able to drive through it. Yeah. yeah. I know this sounds sappy and whatever, but it's like when you have a good team, you have good people, you're surrounded by good people. Yeah. Things get done. Things get done, and then and then yeah. your heart is happy. Yeah. That was gnarly. Definitely one of the things I'm gonna miss the most, our track. We kicked a lot of dust out here. We didn't give a mother, and uh, we're gonna have to build a new track at our new place someday. Oh, I don't even know where to start with this studio. As you guys know, a while back, started uh, getting ready for it to move. It is about to be moved as well. So you guys saw the tiny house is uh, getting some stuff done to it. It's gonna be moved, and then this is gonna be moved as well. Oh, just a studio. 
what a story. I do know there was some ups and downs out here, uh, but being able to uh, have Jared up here uh, for the time that he was here, we had a lot of good times. We barbecued a lot, we hung out a lot, we played a lot of, uh, we made up our own golf games and everything. It was a lot of fun between Jared and Danielle and I, and then all our friends that came out. Oh, this, this is a uh, shed to house. I don't think any of us, including you guys, will ever forget. Oh, it's just crazy seeing the barn. And after building the tiny house and a bunch of stuff going on in my life, I needed that barn build, guys. I built that barn by myself and I never thought I could build something that big. It may not be perfect, but it's freaking awesome that I took the challenge on, I was able to do it, and now I have the confidence to build a new one at Someday Ranch. I think the thing that sucks the most is this rock right here, guys. I think all you guys know, this is where Danielle and I got engaged, the heart rock, and boy, is it popping. <sighs> I just have to say, this is the hardest thing to be leaving is all the memories we've had here, all the great times. I mean, literally got engaged on this property. We thought this is the property we we're gonna have the rest of our life, build our future home, our barnuminium, have a family out here. And it just shows you never know what tomorrow may bring. You never know what's gonna happen in life. Just enjoy the day you have today with the people you care about the most. All right guys, just pulled up over here to Someday Ranch back at the camper. And now I'm gonna fill you in on what's going on. Do we have a lawsuit and what's going on here in the future? So as most of you guys know, we had some problems with the oil field. The oil field commission guy came out and uh, he was kind of pushy at the beginning. And uh, Danielle and I really didn't like that the way he made us feel like we were uh, doing wrong, we did wrong, we need to sell and all that. Then he came back, he talked to us again, he was a little bit nicer, uh, but uh, he had basically not threatened me, but kind of said it in a very certain way, I guess, of do not put this on YouTube, don't talk about this stuff on YouTube, don't talk about us, don't talk about our name, don't do any of this stuff because a YouTuber, that's what he said, a YouTuber did it and they took him to court, they did all the stuff, the, they, he basically said, you will regret if if uh, you talk about this and do stuff. And here's the deal. As you guys know, we had an active oil well on the property up at the front. Uh, it wasn't moving or anything, but it was active. We also had um, an active well that ended up being close to our water well. And then we had uh, other wells that were not active underneath the ground that they came out and checked and said those were fine. They couldn't even find some of them, which is crazy. I don't know how you just can't find a, a well that is on your map, but uh, we had problems with that. Well, you guys know we've been having uh, storms and rains and stuff um, for a good while. Well, we started seeing a little bit of oil start to get on the ground, and uh, the oil was all over the ground uh, going to our animal section, going where the barn was. Uh, water was starting to come down the driveway and cut over towards the barn and cut down to our ponds, and the last thing we wanted was to deal with that. So we ended up uh, trying to talk it all out and do everything we could. So we ended up having oil on the ground after it would rain and it would go down to the driveway, up going towards the barn, cause that's the way the water would run and down towards the ponds for our animals. And then over to our uh, apple trees, Jared planted probably like 15, 20 apple trees. Well, oil started to just sit there and guess what? They all died. They literally all died and uh, we, you know, had talked to the oil field commission guy and he basically said, we will get a guy to come out and cap the well that is literally open on top. And he said, uh, you smell that? And we're like, yeah and uh, he's like that's natural gas coming out um it needs to be capped while we'll someone come out well it was months 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 and nothing ever happened it was just natural gas he basically said just i my suggestion is just keep everything away keep your animals away don't put anything near this and you'll be good and um he did say you can light a match over it's not going to blow up but knowing that we have a leaking well a natural gas leaking well on the property and it wasn't even a real concern to them to come out and cap it was pretty wild to us and it was like okay well we could deal with that for now since he said we wouldn't be in danger but at this point who knows and uh 
we could deal with it. Um, we may just try to sell or we may keep it. Well, we had some offers. We actually had some friends um, think about buying the property from us and uh, and all that. And we're like, okay, well, we told them about everything. We don't know too much about it. I think you could take care of it. I think you could do this. Uh, we weren't able to do it. And then uh, with the rains and stuff, we started really seeing the oil go all over the ground. And that's when we decided for sure we are not keeping Shoot Dang Ranch. We're selling it. And so it is not being thrown to someone else. It's not being someone else's problem we didn't go try to sell it to somebody and not tell them to do all that stuff so don't think we're passing on a problem to someone else because uh, that has nothing to do with us uh, the people are going to be selling to somebody else so they need to be the ones to say something to them which unfortunately they didn't even tell us about all this stuff so i don't know what's going to happen but um it is no longer um going to be an issue for us. We are done with the property. We have two weeks to get our stuff off. And uh, we, I've been bringing stuff over here. I've been doing stuff, but just trying to really uh, knock it out uh, as fast as we can. Unfortunately, having the materials we need and then driving back and forth has really stopped us. But we're literally at the point where everything is going smooth. We have everything we need. Uh, the only thing I need to deal with is the generator. So we could have taken it to court, we could have done a lot of stuff, but honestly to us, it's not worth it. It wasn't worth dealing with all the problems of it, doing all that stuff, and then trying to get them to come out. They said that it could be months and years before someone would even come out and mess with the property. We didn't have uh, the time or patience for that. So that's a big reason why we sold. And now, since we don't have to worry about that property anymore, we have decided to move on to some bigger things for us. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you all of it right now. You got to stick around, but within the next 2 weeks, probably in the next week or so, you guys will know everything. Um it's just easier to put it in a video and show you guys than just to tell you about it and then you guys be guessing. So we do have a lot coming. It's pretty freaking wild to think that we sold Shoot Dang Ranch. That was a huge part of our life. Uh, the ups and downs, everything. And because of that, it opened up the opportunity for us to do a lot. And I'll just say this. Maybe sell the house in town sooner than we thought. Because we have a pretty crazy thing that's happening. <laughs> 